What's up, Raf gang? Welcome back to another unboxing video. Now, this one's a really great one, guys. Lano has sent me an HDMI 2.1 switcher, a three and one out switcher. So three devices can go into this. You know, it's unbelievable. A year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, when HDMI 2.1 receivers came out and there's only one HDMI input and there's only one HDMI port on your TV, we're thinking, how the heck are we gonna fit all the devices in this one port? Man, something like this. Holy cow, right? Now they're available. 2.1 video switchers up to 8K compatibility, 120 frames, HDR, Dolby Vision, the whole shebang of all the audio ports, wide compatibility. It's also backwards compatibility. It's basically any HDMI connection you need can go into this. Now, the great thing is, guys, if you have a device that only has one input, you don't have to unplug your PS5 or unplug your Series X or unplug your, your high-end PC to share between one. You don't need to get an extra external box to make it work out and all that stuff or say you only have two hdmi inputs on your tv or your receiver and you have three devices well finally guys you can hook up three devices and only use one hdmi port on your on your avr or your tv so fantastic guys for me it's going to be great so i can only use, use one port on my avr and switch between my three devices with the remote control as well guys there's a button on here to switch and you can use an infrared remote and click away and change the ports just like that. So I'm super excited to show, you, show this to you guys and also hook it up uh, to my system since so make it make things a lot, a lot easier moving forward. So I want to appreciate Lionel for sending this to me. Now, without further ado, guys, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and welcome to an unboxing video. And then let's take a look at some close-up specs of this device right now. All right, guys, so Lionel connecting the world in our way. Great company, guys. They, they have a lot of different products on their site. So they're a great company. They're re really building their brand up. And uh, they got a lot of great devices for numerous electronics, which is great. So they sent me this one here to show you guys. So expandable HDMI ports in your TV and your, your AVR, your receiver, right? Toggle between it. Switch with a remote control, which is great. Enjoy up to 8K60 uh, you know, the content if you have it. Lucky you. Or enjoy up to 120 frames for gaming and stuff. HDR, all that stuff. 444 chroma a whole shebang wide compatibility guys it's a great hdmi switcher well built and i can't wait to hook this up so without further ado guys let's get this unboxed all right guys you know what time it is black pin. all right so here's the front of the box lano hdmi 2 point version three in one out pretty awesome Let's go 2.1 Switcher with three inputs. That is absolutely impressive. Okay. Nice. And we got a thank you and some instructions there. This must be for the remote. Okay, we got a USB C cable here. And the remote control. Pretty simple, guys. One, two, three for your input. Now, for me, it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be. Let's go PC1, Series X, Series X, 2, and PS5, 3. All right. Now, main event. Good packaging. Nice sealed plastic wrap here. And. Surprisingly lightweight. A hard plastic aluminum here. And there we go, guys. We got a nice clicky select button. We have our infrared indicator right here. HDMI 3 into 1. These also illuminate as well to let you know what input is what. The 1, 2, 3, and probably the uh, power there. On the back, nice layout. So USB-C goes here for power you have your output your output is this one and then hdmi three two and one are in the back and that's fantastic guys because a lot of times you see input or output on the sides or even in the front oh that's that's very that's very unattractive there so having everything on the back keeps it clean you don't see wires sticking out of the sides or front i like that a lot oh yeah this is great guys so i'm gonna hook this up Put it on top of my receiver there and hook up all my three devices to it and we'll uh we'll check it out guys so let's go okay guys we have the lano hdmi 2.1 hooked up 
We have the USB-C power cable connected. We have an output to the display. And then we have two inputs here, uh, PlayStation, Xbox Series X, and my PC. Uh, so right now we have power on the red light. And now we're on input one, because that's my PC. Two is going to be the Series X. And then three is going to be the PS5. Uh, so the way to change inputs is by pressing this button right here. HDMI 2, HDMI 3, then back to HDMI 1. Or you can use the included remote two, three, or back to one. All right, let's see it in action. Okay guys, so I did a bunch of testing and everything works absolutely perfect. Um, I'll show you a couple things here. So you know I have the, uh, the switcher connected uh, with all the HDMI to my receiver. And then I'm going to the, to the LG OLED here. So right now we're in the PC mode. Uh, input 1 works fantastic. Uh, so let's check out uh, X. Let's do best for last. Let's do PS5 next. That's number 3. So we hit number 3. You see a little blue dot went over to part three. Screen went black. And it's coming back. Receiver's looking for the signal. Boom, got it. Everything is set on the screen there. So we'll grab the PS5 remote here. And we go to settings. And we go down to... So we go to sound. Sound output, we're in HDMI. AV amplifier, number of channels 7.1, and then make sure we got Dolby for the priority output. So audio is fine here. Video, we go over to output information and across the board it's great. 2, 3, up to 120 hertz. VRR supported, all good. And look here, it's all set to automatic, all good here. So PS5 is very happy. And uh, yeah, very nice. Look at that sun, HDR popping. All right, so great for PS5, fantastic. Now, uh, we'll move on to the best for last. That's Xbox Series X, that's number two. So you see the blue light will switch to HDMI 2. One thing I did not um, get was the automatic switching or auto switching. It doesn't work for me. So if I turn one device off, it doesn't go to the next. So I have to press the buttons on the remote or press the little button in front there to switch the uh, HDMI ports. All right, so now we have uh, Xbox Series X. And right now we're running a, uh, Dolby Vision in 120 frames. We'll confirm by testing out this here. So you have 120 frames a second. VRR enabled and Dolby Vision. I can confirm for you right there. Dolby Vision is on. So all good there for Dolby Vision Gaming. Let's go to the Xbox menu. And display options, we're at 120 frames. Xbox details green across the board, fantastic. Uh, don't mind the. Uh, this is the warning for the Dolby Vision 120 uh, hertz. You might get some uh, input latent, latency, so don't worry about that. Uh, video modes we have everything checked off here. We don't really bother about the 422, but it works fine if you want. But Dolby Vision Gaming HDR all good. Uh, and then the audio, it's pretty cool about the uh, the audio of Xbox Series X. So we have Dolby Atmos enabled. Uh, make sure you have a la uh, pass through. You know, pass through is important. But if you go down to audio setup, you get to choose all these different sound outputs. So if you go to 5171 Dolby, we'll go down the Dolby Atmos. And you'll see that the receiver is switching and it goes to Dolby. Dolby Atmos audio there. It's, it's sending through the uh, the HDMI switcher. So full audio, HD audio pass through is enabled. All good there. Even if I want to do DTSX, that'll switch through the switcher. Passes the audio. 
and you'll see on the Ankyo it says DTS Master Audio passing through. So audio is absolutely perfect. So yeah, guys, this is a excellent, excellent HDMI 2.1 switcher. Passes all the frequencies that I have here uh, with flying colors. The only knock I have on it is it doesn't have the auto switching. So I just have to push the button or use the remote to switch inputs. Other than that, guys, this is a fantastic HDMI switcher. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to pick yourself up one. And it helps me out, helps you out, appreciate it. And uh, guys, enjoy the HDMI 2.1 switching and you'll be able to save uh, your inputs on your TV or AVR by running it all through one port. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Appreciate it. Drop a like. And I'll see you in the next one. Home Theater Rules. Raph out. See you guys.